today we are going to discuss about linear programming problem lpp series in which we are going to focus about the formulation of problem so welcome to my youtube channel mechanical engineering management like share and subscribe so first of all you need to remember the steps for the formulation of problem or you can say step to generate the mathematical model for the lpp so the problem formulation has the following four steps first identifying the decision variables so first you need to identify the decision variables from the description then writing the objective functions with nature that means whether it is maximize or minimize then third step writing the constraints or you can say the limitations and fourth one writing the non negativity restrictions so you need to follow these four different steps in sequence to generate the mathematical model so in this video we will discuss one problem so that you will be able to formulate mathematical model so let's start from the description the courier department is considering purchase of vehicles to pick up and deliver parcels from various offices they are considering three types of vehicles the cost of each of these are rupees 5 lakhs rupees 10 lakhs and rupees 8 lakhs per vehicle respectively these require a crew of 2 4 and 3 persons per day considering multiple shifts they expect these to run for 60 90 and 80 km per day they expect that the total distance to be covered by the vehicles per day would be 2000 km based on fuel economy the operating cost per day for these vehicles are rupees 200 rupees 350 and rupees 250 per day they have a budget restriction of rupees 1.6 crore and have 80 people available as crew formulate a model to minimize the operating cost look at this last sentence only we are going to focus formulation of the mathematical model for this problem to minimize the operating cost so this is the description given to you now first of all decision has to be taken on how many quantities of vehicles a b and c should be purchased so look at this description they are considering three types of vehicles and this three types of vehicles means we can say vehicle a vehicle b and vehicle c and the decision has to be taken for these three types of vehicles so we can say x1 is equal to units of vehicle a x2 is equal to units of vehicle b and x3 is equal to units of vehicle c so in short we can say x1 x2 and x3 are actually the quantities of vehicle a b and c respectively here it is written that the operating cost per day for these vehicles are rupees 200 rupees 350 and rupees 250 per day so we can say the total cost z is equal to 200 plus 350 plus 250 if i assume that the vehicle a b and c having single quantity only in generalize i can say total cost z is equal to 200 x1 plus 350 x2 plus 250 x3 and obviously this is the cost so that our objective function should be minimized so i can write over here minimize z is equal to 200x1 plus 350x2 plus 250x3 so this is the objective function now it's turn for the constraints so let's start from the budget total cost is limited to 1.6 into 100 is equal to 160 lakhs so here it is given to you they have a budget restriction of rupees 1.6 crore and individual cost of the vehicles are given in lakhs 
So first convert this 1.6 crore into lakhs. So it is very simple 1.6 into 100. So you will get 160 lakhs. So total budget is 160 lakhs. And we should take the decision for the quantities of vehicle A, B and C. So here the total cost is 160 lakhs. And individual cost of the vehicle A, B and C are given to you. So I can say constraint for the budget 5x1 plus 10x2 plus 8x3 should not be greater than 160 because of the total budget is 160 lakhs. So whatever it may be the cost of these three vehicles should not be increased from 160 lakhs. So it should be always less than or equal to 160. Now next concern. For crew, total people are limited to 80. And that is written over here. 80 people available as crew. So this is the limitation. So in another word we can say the maximum 80 people are there. And it is also given to you. These require a crew of 2, 4 and 3 persons per day. For the vehicles A, B and C respectively. So I can say constraint for the crew is equal to 2x1 plus 4x2 plus 3x3 should be less than or equal to 80. Now next constraint for total kilometers minimum distance covered is equal to 2000 kilometer that is also given to you. So look at the description carefully total distance to be covered by the vehicles per day would be 2000 km. So at least 2000 km should be covered. So that is the limitation total kilometers minimum requirement is 2000 km. And they expect these to run for 60, 90 and 80 km per day for vehicles A, B and C respectively. So I can say 60x1 plus 90x2 plus 80x3 that is the total kilometers should be greater than or equal to 2000 kilometers. So these are actually the total kilometers covered by the vehicles A, B and C and that should be greater than or equal to 2000 because of here it is given to you the minimum requirement is 2000 kilometers. And at last you know that non-negativity restriction. That means for vehicles A, B and C, the total quantity of X1, X2 and X3 must be greater than or equal to 0. Means either I can purchase vehicles A, B, C 0 or positive values. Means the values of X1, X2 and X3 0 or positive values. So thanks my dear friends, press the like button to appreciate this video.